Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be taking a look at Metroid 2 Return of Samus for the Nintendo Game Boy. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, then please consider subscribing. And let's take a look at the box art. So this is the player's choice version. And yeah, the box is, it's got a little bit of damage to it, um, but... It's in pretty good shape for the most part, and the cool thing is that it has the plastic seal still on it. So, if you guys want to read that, you can pause it if you'd like. And here's some screenshots on the back. So, this game was <clears throat> released in North America in November of 1991. It is the sequel to the NES game, which is just titled Metroid. So here's the consumer info booklet. And I did want to mention that I actually have this game for sale on my Mercari page that I always link in the comments and description. Because I do sell some of the stuff that I get. So, just wanted to mention that. So, here's a poster that came with it. Which is really cool. Here's the other side of it. I adjusted the camera to get it on here as best as I could. And here is the manual. So, Today I'm going to be doing something a little different, which is I'm not going to go through the manual because I just figured I'd experiment with something different and maybe you guys could let me know in the comments if you like that better. So it's going to be a little bit of a shorter video today. And here is the cartridge. I am still going to do the gameplay and a review for this game though.
so that was my gameplay for Metroid 2 Return of Samus. And what can I really say about this game? It pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, you know, it's definitely one of, if not the best Game Boy games that they made. They really put a lot of work into this game. It's, you know, it even, it takes a few hours to finish this game. Um, the sprites are nice and big, for especially for a Game Boy game. The music is great. And this game was developed by Nintendo R&D 1, which is a very legendary group of developers. And, yeah, so this is definitely a game that I would recommend. And, yeah, there's not really much, uh, you know, not very many bad things to say about this game. Alright, so, that's gonna pretty much do it for today's video. And, as always, if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please consider subscribing. And, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.